Next question, question 22. There is a milk sample with 50% water in it. If one third of this milk is added to equal amount of pure milk, then water in the new mixture will fall down to. Options are A 25%, B 30%, C 35%, D 40%. So in this question, when you read the question itself, you can understand that the absolute amount of the uh, milk sample is not relevant. We can assume any absolute amount and still the answer will be same. There is no mention of any absolute amount in the question or answer. So we can assume any absolute amount which uh, helps us to uh, make the calculation simple. So here there is a milk sample with 50% water in it and further one third of that needs to be taken. So if you assume uh, sorry, if you assume our milk sample has 60 m 60. So 60 means uh, we have 60 ml and 30 ml. We'll, we'll just assume our initial sample was 60 ml. So 30 ml uh, water and 30 ml milk. So from this one third of this milk, this sample is added to equal amount of pure milk. We will take another bowl and one third of this sample, what does that mean? We will have uh, 10 ml water and 10 ml milk, right? Uh, to this uh, equal amount of pure milk is added. So total 20 ml we have. So to, to this we add 20 ml sorry 10 plus 20 ml milk we add, add so total 20 ml was there in the new bowl and equal amount of pure milk was added that means 20 ml milk also was added so question ask what is the uh, the water in the new mixture will fall down to so as you see there is totally there is 40 ml and water is just 10 ml so total ratio will be 10 by 40 or 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 is nothing but if, uh, f to calculate the percentage just multiply with 100 and we get 25 so it is 25 percentage so ratio of the uh, the water in the new mixture will fall down to 25 percentage that is the answer. So A is the answer. Solution to question 22 is A, 25 percentage. So just a quick note. If we have taken the initial volume as V, what would have happened? We will get V by 2, V by 2. Further, uh, we take uh, one third of that into a new ball then that becomes one third of v by two that becomes v by six uh, water and uh, v by six water uh, milk and now uh, v by six plus v by six is two v by six th that is v by three v by three milk was added so total was total will become v by six plus v by six plus v by three uh, this becomes uh, 3, 2V, 3V, 4V by 6, 4V by 6 or 2V by 3. We get 2V by 3 as the total volume and V by 6 is the uh, water content. So V by 6 by uh, 2V by 3 becomes 2 or V by 4. And percentage becomes V, v by 4. Uh, sorry, V get cancelled. 1 by 4. Same answer we get. But we will have to uh, use all uh, frac we have to take these numbers of v by 6 and v by 3 and then add it. Uh, all that will be there in the answer. So if you take simple uh, absolute figures then uh, it will be more easier and we can re uh, con we can come to the answer in a much faster way I feel. Well, whichever way is comfortable to you, you can use. No problem. Uh, that is up to you. So, solution to question 22 is um, A, 25 percentage.